doubt. We doubt things that we don't believe. We doubt things that we we don't see. We doubt things that aren't explainable. We doubt things that, you know, if, like Thomas, it's just too hard to believe. What about when you're in church every Sunday? I mean, if you go to church every Sunday, you must believe it, right? You, you get up in the morning instead of sleeping in and hitting snooze, instead of getting early to the restaurant to watch the football game, instead of going away for a long weekend, instead of complaining to mom and dad you don't want to go, you actually get up, you put on your Sunday best, and you go to church, you sing the liturgy, you sing the hymns, you pray the prayers, you listen to the sermon, but you still doubt. There, there's still doubt there. Does, does that mean you're not a believer? Does that mean you're just going through the motions? Does that mean you're just going to church to make someone else happy? Or are you just going to church because it's routine? Is that what you're doing? And, and you know who says that stuff? The devil. He, he puts it right there, right there in your ear because he wants it to make a home in your heart that what you're doing on Sunday morning is just going through the motions. You're doing it with a hope like, maybe if God sees me doing it, he'll reward me for this. But the reality is this. You're going to have doubts, even if you're going to church every single Sunday. Even if you go to church every feast day and every time a worship service is offered, you're still going to have doubts because you still got this stuff. You still have flesh. You still have blood pumping through you. You still have a brain that's working. Not that, oh, it's not reasonable. That's not the thing. It's just that it's all corrupted by sin. You're still going to have it. So there's a prayer you're going to pray every day, even if you're in church all the time and always involved in church activities. And that prayer is, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief, meaning crucify that unbelief again today. Crucify and put to death that doubt today. Overcome it for me because I can't overcome it myself because I can't face the world, the devil, and death and the old Adam on my own. I need you to do it for me, and Christ does. And that's why it's a blessing that you brought to church every Sunday because the Holy Spirit brings you there, gathers you to enlighten, sanctify you, and keep you in the true faith along with all the other people that are struggling with their own doubts, with their own unbelief. So take heart. It's not that your doubt's okay. It's that your doubt is forgiven, drowned in the blood of Christ. And that's what church is all about, being forgiven of that and reminded that Christ will carry you all the way under the ages of ages. God bless y'all.